Hello friends, welcome to VRM Wellness and this is Vishwajit Matkar. I am a life coach specializing in wellness. And today I am going to talk to you about something that we all deal with. And it's called habit. We have habits that work for us and we have habits that do not work for us. And what do we do with habits that do not work for us? We try to stop taking that action. And does it work? Not really. It keeps coming back with a vengeance. Now, there is a reason behind that. So first, let us understand what is a habit. A habit is a repetitive behavioral pattern which is so deeply embedded in your subconscious mind that it refuses to let go. Do you know that the subconscious mind is the most powerful area of your mind? Whatever is stored in your subconscious mind becomes your behavioral pattern and you start taking actions based on that. So if you want to change a habit, you need to feed a new habit or a new action into your subconscious mind. Now, which are the habits that we generally deal with? We have habits like smoking, drinking or drinking coffee, tea, soda, eating sweets. And what are the habits that it can be replaced with? For example, smoking can be replaced with eating a stick of carrot or cucumber. So whenever you have the urge to smoke, you can just munch on a carrot. Whenever you have the urge to drink coffee or tea, replacing it with green tea. When you feel like having soda or a Coke, replacing it with water. Whenever you feel the urge to eat sweets, replacing it with something that is healthy. Now people also have habits like watching television. Yes, people are habitual to watching television. You can replace that with maybe exercising or just going down for a walk, getting some fresh air. So this is how you can replace an old habit with a new action. And only then your mind will accept it because the mind becomes very uncomfortable when you just stop doing something. It needs a replacement. And that is the reason why habits are so difficult to change. Because most of the time people try to stop doing that particular activity or taking that particular action without replacing it with something new. So when the mind does not get what it has been used to, it becomes very uncomfortable and it keeps pushing you towards that again and again. So whenever you want to change a habit, take a replacement for that and keep doing that for 21 days consistently because that is a time that your mind, the subconscious mind takes for any action to be deeply embedded into it such that it becomes a habit. So if you want to start exercising, take one action, maybe going for a walk or doing one particular exercise and do it consistently for 21 days and at a particular time. So your mind will get used to it. So what I urge you to do now is take a piece of paper or your diary and write down those habits that you feel or you want to change. And next to it, write down actions that you will replace that with. Pick up one out of that and do it consistently for the next 21 days and see the magic. Trust me, it works. So replace the old habit with a new action and do it consistently for 21 days and it will become a habit. And this is how you can change old habits which are not working for you. So do try it out. Let me know. Get in touch with me on my website www.vishwajitmatkar.com or my number is mentioned below. Get in touch with me in case of any consultations with regards to life coaching or any area of your life that you want to work with. So thank you for watching. Take care and have